Behind the plate, Dunhurst tosses the mask and oh, got it! Oh Heads over heels it's into it's the it's dugout. It's yeah! It's Hayden Dunhurst, take a bow, buddy. Pop straight up. It will stay in play. Dunhurst flips the mask, makes the catch for the first out here in the third. Alex is 1 2 to Farquhar. Oh, Middle oh pick my. attempt. Yes. What a dart from Hayden Dunhurst. Oh. And what a tag. We all know Hayden Dunhurst is the best defensive catcher in all of college baseball, but to his teammates, he's known by another name. What is his nickname? Rock. Lay Rock. How did he get it? I have no idea. I think it's just because he looks like a rock. That's what, that, that's what my guess was. I don't really know how he got the nickname Rock, but I do like it. I hope it never leaves him because it's a good one. I don't know if it's just because he's a unit, like, you know, he, he's, he's super strong, and or I don't know what it is, you know, but it fits him well. I love it. I want to say his dad named him that when we were younger. I honestly have no clue where he got the name Rock from. Maybe his dad thought he was stubborn like a rock, or he just blocks everything up like a rock. I really have no clue. Very young. Very hard-headed kid. We're grilling food. I told him I had to go inside, don't touch the grill. A few minutes later, you come back, he's crying, his hands burnt. So I started picking on him, saying he had a head like a rock. So then we started calling him Rockhead, and it's turned into rock over the years. I think I was about probably two or three years old. My dad was just always getting on me, and he just called me Rockhead. And you know, growing up, it just turned into rock. Now it's stuck with everybody. When I got here last year, everybody just called him Rock, and at first, not everyone was calling him that. They just called him Dunhurst or HD, and but this year it seems to stick that everybody calls him Little Rock. He's a rock. I think that's just the best way to put it. While he earned the nickname before his playing career, Dunhurst has become a rock behind the plate. I started catching, I think maybe 10 or 11 year old. It was just a way to keep him more involved in the game because he, he really wanted to be involved every pitch. And once he started throwing and to throw a few people out, then that's when he really got excited about it and started learning and trying to get better. I fell in love with throwing people out and, you know, there's a lot of people that wouldn't try and run and I love throwing people out and still to this day, that's my favorite thing about it. Ole Miss was really putting out really good catchers, you know, Will Allen, Nick Fortes, Cooper Johnson, and things like that. And, you know, I know Coach B, Coach Laff, and Coach Clem was all catchers and everything. And I just thought it was a real good place I could develop. You know, they would treat catchers hard. Coach B would be on to you, and I knew that would make me better. Because I caught, because Coach Lafferty was a catcher, Coach Clement was a catcher, we're hard. You know, and even now we even have a student assistant, Henry Lertig, that was a catcher here. So he's got four former catchers coaching him. The Ole Miss is not the easiest place to catch at. That's something that's hard to find as a catching coach at a young age. You know, that's really where you're going to get that is in pro ball or in college ball is those guys who call because they're usually your better coaches. The confidence that Hayden came into this program, it's a hard position to play and his ability to get better, to listen, to be coachable and to step right in and play that position anywhere in college baseball is really hard. And that's what he wanted to get better at was catching and you know, in complete game, get better with everything, but he really wanted to get under some guys who have done it at a high level. He's unique in a lot of different ways back there by the way he receives, his arm strength, his exchange, and how quickly he can get rid of the ball. He's kind of the whole package back there. During his run with the Rebels, Rock embodies the ultimate meaning of being a Golden Glove catcher. We've had a lot of great catchers here and, and guys that have gone on the pro ball and even the major leagues, but we've never had a guy to, to be able to do what you know Hayden's done behind the plate. Watching him throw from his knees so often, you know, through fall practice his freshman year, he does it as well as anybody I've ever seen, and so we, we don't want to keep him from being great. A lot of times when you came up to throw the ball, if you were trying to get that third strike or trying to get a close strike, you know, we wouldn't get that call with certain umpires. So we started, I'd always tell him, hey, just stay down and catch it for a strike. Catch it the best you can. It started out kind of as a joke. I said, man, if you can throw it from your knees, you know, that's the only way we're gonna throw to try to get somebody out because we, we really need a strike here. And then it just developed from there. Our first year here when we're playing against Louisville, we get to strike them out, throw them out to end the weekend and get a series dub. Oh man, we had Max Trophy on the mound and a guy that really likes to throw his fastball. Goes again, a chance for a strike him out, throw him out, down to second, tagged out, Hayden 
Dunhurst flashing that arm for the final out of the game, and Ole Miss takes down Louisville for a second time this weekend. They'll get the series. I knew it was in a big situation. I think we were down by one run in like in the last inning, and you know they were going to try and make something happen, one out to get a man in scoring position, and you know we called a fastball up and away, and Hayden made that throw on the money, and everybody went crazy. Didn't even realize the dude swung until after I threw him out. I was just so hyped up and excited. Uh, I just played it, replayed it instantly because I was like, wow, he just threw a dude off of his knee and a strikeout and a strike him out, throw him out. I was like, what just happened? But that's how good he is. I have a picture in my house that is after that play where Tyler Keenan came up and like punches him in the chest and gives him a hug and it was like, you know, he was part of the team. He was accepted then. You know, that was a big moment for us. You know, that was my first weekend ever playing college and to be able to have that atmosphere against Louisville with that many people in the stands, it was, you know, it was definitely sensational for me. It's something I'll remember forever. We, we want to tell ourselves all the time that the pitchers control the running game, but not, not on the staff, not on this team. When you have a guy like Hayden Dunhurst behind the plate, he controls every bit of the running game. When I saw the things he was doing and the way he was throwing out guys left and right, like it was nothing. Uh, I knew he was a special athlete. To be able to throw runners out with ease, I mean, there's a lot of times when halfway from the, the plate, like I already know the guy's out. He makes my job really easy. Most of the time I just have to catch the ball and put a tag on him because he's he makes such good throws and everything. But it is, it's truly amazing just to watch him work. First game of the year against TCU last year, he had a block. It was a righty hitter, man on first. He had a block. What kicked in front of the hitter, in front of the hitters, Hayden wraps around and picks it up, fires it, picks him off. Trey picks the ball. Tags him out. I think he threw it 98 across the diamond. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'll never forget it. When you're in the moment and you throw the ball, you, you don't even have him. It's, it's not even a secondary thought because you know the guy behind the plate is going to get it done if the guy wants to decide to try to run. You got to be perfect as a catcher. You know, your transition has to be perfect. Your grip has to be perfect. You have to throw it on the right side of the bag. You have to throw it at the right height. I guess just how competitive I am whenever you just have like a perfect and satisfying feeling, there's nothing that's better. And I just get obsessed with it and want it more. He's always been very aware of his talents, and I think that's half the battle in baseball is to, to know what your talents are and stick to those talents and, and play those within your game. You know, and he's always had that quiet confidence and he's always brought that to, you know, whatever team he's been on. And It's almost laughable of how comfortable he is when runners get on. It's almost like he wants a runner to get on base and then try him. So it's the coolest, coolest spot in the moment of the game is when there's a guy gets on, but everybody in the dugout's like, oh, please run. It's just an automatic out. And it's just a great feeling to have. A couple years ago when we played uh, Louisville at home to start off the season, he made a throw at a third base to get a, get a guy stealing. I think he literally didn't even look and just like threw it around the guy and got him out at third. It was an insane throw and I feel like he makes one of those throws every once in a while that you're just like, wow. Really, almost every time he throws somebody out, it's a spectacle for sure. Hayden's just different. He, he was born to be a catcher. You look at him and he was born to be a catcher. He's unbelievable. He's something special. I've played baseball since I was five years old, been around a lot of good catchers, but there won't be a catcher as good as him 